Now, doing a series of these simple tapping exercises can reduce pain and stress and cravings. Two years ago, Veronica O'Donnell, a smoker for 34 years, used this method to kick her 20-a-day habit. Here's a reminder of her journey. I've been smoking for a long time. About 34 years. Yeah, and yeah. this is the first time you've tried other methods. I have tried other methods, yeah, but they didn't work for me. Do you know what I mean? But um, I'm getting angry with the tapping. I really am. Me, I like a new person. I have great energy beautiful smell. My hair has improved, my skin. I think the scariest thing about giving up cigarettes is actually the thought of being without your cigarette. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's scarier, the yeah, actual thing is scarier it's, than it's, doing it. Yeah, it's the thought give, of it is yeah, more scary. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. And Veronica was level 2-3, which is uh, amber approaching danger. What's Veronica? What's Veronica? Look, it's green. Isn't that incredible? Now we are joined by Veronica and her EFT practitioner, Nora Sweetman. You're both very welcome. Thank you. Yes. Veronica, first of all, it's great to have you back. We'll chat to you in a second, Nora. Thank but you. I remember that day a couple of years ago. It's actually two years this month, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, yeah. The 18th of this month. The 18th of this and month. Smoking. And remind everyone of how bad you were on the cigarettes. You were pretty heavy, weren't you? I loved my cigarettes. I did. My cigarettes were my life. Yeah. yeah. And I, I remember at the time, it was your daughter's coming up 21st. to your daughter's 21st. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah, and she was always nagging you, wasn't she? Yeah, she hated me smoking. She she'd walk into the kitchen and she'd see me with a cigarette, and she'd just walk back out again. Yeah. And when I finished the cigarette, she'd come back in. Yeah. Now she she doesn't even she just knows there's no smoke. She just and walks in now. Explain how easy or how difficult it was with the the tapping method to give up. I, to me, when you were doing when you were doing the tapping, you were you were, you were craving for that. But when you're done the tapping, you're by the time you're finished and you're tapping, just your craving was gone. Yeah. Yeah. And did you ever slip in the last two no, years? Never. Not even a drag, no. nothing? No, I think if I take a just pull of a cigarette, I think I'll be back on the cigarettes. Yeah. yeah, definitely. How close did you come to having one, or did that oh, ever happen? You get the smell of them, you love it, you know what I mean, kind of. But now, you, you kind of get the smell and you go, mm. you know, it's. I think the longer you're off them, the, the smell kind of disgusts you that bit more. I don't know, it's just, yeah. you know, the smell is not nice anymore, that kind of way, and I think that alone keeps you... Keeps you off. Yeah, it does. It keeps you from not smoking. You know. Well, this is the woman, yeah, Nora. Right. This is the practitioner who helped you give up and stay off the yeah. cigarettes. Of course, you were such a heavy smoker. Remind us of the tapping method again, Nora. Tell um, us what it is. Okay, the tapping method I use is called the emotional freedom technique. And what EFT. It, EFT, yeah. Mm -hmm. And basically what it does, it has two parts to it. You physically tap what are acupressure, acupuncture points. Mm -hmm. And while you're doing that, you're expressing your craving or your fear. And doing those two things together releases the pattern that has you stuck there. How would somebody regular like me or, 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 or just wondering, how would you know where to press? Would you need to go and see someone like you first? You would. Like, people do pick it up from the internet. But sometimes I get clients coming and go, oh, I tried and I didn't work. And it's because they've either left out something or they didn't know how to adjust it to suit themselves. It's very important. Like with Veronica, one of the first questions I asked her was, what are cigarettes to you? And I remember we laughed at her, she said, cigarettes are my life. Yeah. So she would have, I would have been tapping and she would have been following, cigarettes are my life. So you're tapping and is it an acupuncture point? They're acupuncture points, but acupuncture points are extremely exact. So we're tapping in areas and we're trying to move energy through the meridian systems of the body. So an acupuncturist will put in a very, very particular point with their needle and I'll tap in an area where I know there's like a lot of junctions because I'm moving energy around the body. And because I tap a circuit, I'm moving energy through the main circuits of the body. Okay. Now, Veronica successfully used tapping to totally get off the cigarettes, but it can be used for other things like stress. And recently we saw Sunita in I'm a Celebrity in the Jungle using it to calm herself down in the jungle and get rid of stress. Yes. It's the same principle. Basically, you could think of it like it's a big knob that turns down, uh, you know, the pressure. It's like you turn down the, the dial on your radio. So if you're, as you say, up to 90, I can't stand it. I must have a cigarette. I can't take any more pressure. When you tap, you reduce the pressure. And that's a physical thing on your body. You can do it on a baby and that doesn't know what you're doing and they will calm. So that's the physical thing. And then as you express, I can't stand any more of it. It's like you, you let it go as you express it fully. Yeah. Did you find it difficult to learn the method, Veronica? No, it's no, it's simple, simple enough. Yeah. That is, yeah. But you believe that maybe having a practitioner to show you the yeah, I think the you do. First. You do need, yeah, you you do. 
it's nice to have one to one kind of and, and see and for to explain to you as well. Yeah. But know? it does actually work at two levels. Like there's like a first aid level. You know, sometimes I'll say to people, just tap like that if you're feeling panicky and just, just your fingers like this. Yeah, and you can just say you have a lot of nerve endings just around your nail bed and you can just say, I want to be calm and that will help you. But if you want to untangle what's behind it, like the, the subconscious drivers that make you eat or make you panic or make you drink or whatever, you need some time to do that. But just as an immediate first aid, like you can tap for smoking, like this craving, these cigarettes, I really want to let it go, this craving, and that will bring it down in itself. Should you vocalise as well? I mean, should it be just a, a, a double thing? Did you say, I really need to give up? I really yeah. want to give up? Yeah, I mean, up. you're having a bad day and you're having a bad, and you really want to give <laughs> You have to get mad at yourself when you're, you know, and you have to let your emotions out as well, you know, and it does work. What yeah. if you're out and uh, you're in company and you're dying for a cigarette? Did that ever happen? Did you like run to the loo and tap to get yeah, over or that? Yeah, you'd, you'd be chipping away at your fingers. What you know, would you, you do? Yeah, you'd be just chipping away at your fingers and you know, kind of, yeah. yeah. Do you still do it? Not as much, no, but if I, if I got into dire, if I really got into dire straits, I would do it because yeah. to get me over that, that, that moment, do you know yeah. what I mean? Would you recommend it as yes, a method? Yes, definitely, without doubt, yeah, yeah okay. I would, yeah. What other people do you help? What other types of people in the sense of people that have cravings in other areas or pain? Yeah, it, it's been great for pain. It's very, very effective, particularly for something that's trapped, like a trapped nerve. Or, you know, somebody goes, I can't move my shoulder. Because there's a lot of ideas around that for number one. I can't move it, it's sore, it's dangerous, it's never going to move. And then also there's sometimes a component, like you've got the injury at a time when you're very stressed. And it's like this is a, a, a sort of a, literally a frozen moment in your yeah. body. And Stress when you related. release the feelings, you know, I can't take it and it's too much and things like that. Sometimes you're like, oh my God, it feels so much better. Because we're often holding you know like neck pain is another yeah. typical headaches we're holding it ourselves we're doing it yeah. uh, today is the day that most people actually believe it or not slip in the sense <laughs> of new year's resolutions it's true this is yeah. the biggest day in the latest survey this was done in the uk that people give up what what they actually decided to do so maybe if you're finding it difficult if you are indeed just gave up cigarettes with pure willpower or something else maybe take a look at tapping as a method thank you very much and congratulations thank you. veronica very it's much. so great thanks to see you look so healthy and yeah, good and it's great, great that you've achieved yeah. this lovely well, thanks Amelia. Okay, now if you'd like to know more about uh, tapping or EFT, we've put all the information on our website and the Airtel page, and that is 340.